DEA S1 probability. Exhaustive events means that the probability of A or B happening is 1. But we also know that that is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. Too many unknowns. But we also know probability of B given that A has happened. Well, that's the probability of B and A, which is the same as A and B, divided by the probability of A. So 0 0.3 has to equal the probability of A and B divided by the probability of A. And multiplying gives us that the probability of A and B is 0 0.3 times the probability of A. So if I go back to my original equation, 1 equals the probability of A plus 0.72 minus 0.3 times the probability of A. 1 minus 0.72, which would give us 0.28, will equal 0.7 times the probability of A. And that means that the probability of A must be 0.4. I'm going to use a Venn diagram to organise my information. Two fifths, football but not tennis. Two fifteenths, tennis but not football. And X that they do both. Probability of F, therefore, is 2 fifths plus X. Probability of T is 2 fifteenths plus X. And we know that they're independent, so we know that F and T will be the probability of F multiplied by the probability of T. So X has to equal 2 fifths plus X times 2 fifteenths plus X. Using FOIL to expand the brackets, And then I'm going to multiply 3 by 75, and that is so that I can eliminate the fractions. That is my preference in working with these. Now I need to make the quadratic equal 0. Oh, and I nearly forgot to multiply the x squared by 75. Everything has to be multiplied by 75. We have 40x take away 75x minus 35x, and we have plus 4. Now I'm going to be happy to factorise. You can use the quadratic formula. You will not get marks deducted by using um, one method or the other. And that gives me that 15x minus 4 equals 0. x equals 4 fifths. Or I have that 5x minus 1 equals 0, x equals 1 fifth.